Hey, I'm Bill Marion at Cape Henry Lighthouse at Fort Story, Virginia, and this is a Nose for Life. So this thing was built in 1792 and it's kind of a miracle that it's still standing, but yes, it is still standing and it is really awesome. You're at Cape Henry Lighthouse. There's two lighthouses here. There's the old one that was built and first used in 1792. The one across the street, the black and white one, is the tallest cast iron lighthouse in the United States. It was built to replace the old one it first used in December of lighthouses however remaining today uh, there are only four well this is the fourth oldest one still standing before this there are three others still standing today they were funded by the english crown so taxation without representation this one was paid for by american tax uh, i was set up by hamilton the treasury and george washington our president and that protected trade in the chesapeake bay for a long time Jamestown colonists first stepped ashore at 1607. They're the ones that named it Cape Henry. When they landed here, it's named after King James the first oldest son. Across the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay is Cape Charles, and that's named after his other son, Charles. You know, I really want to thank Brian and Billy for helping me with this video. They work for the Park Service, and they are absolutely amazing. I really appreciate their help. They gave me a lot of information. When we got here we found out that the old lighthouse where you can normally walk to the top and you know look around us because it's a cool lighthouse one of the oldest in america you can't go up there right now and the reason why is they're you know refurbishing construction and stuff so you can't go up there we got a 50 percent discount normally it's 10 bucks to come up here and walk to the top we got to come up here for five okay that's cool but what i found really amazing about being here is you are on an active duty military base
take it for real. We had to take a shuttle over here. We were given a briefing. We were searched, patted down the whole nine yards. I mean, I'm talking about a little bit more than airport security. Of course, restricted on what you can film and all that stuff. Now, the new lighthouse is still in operation. And of course, we can't go up there because it's an actual working lighthouse. So if you love early American history and you love lighthouses and you love the ocean, hey, this is the place for you. You just have to be aware that when you get here, you're gonna have to go through airport security, maybe a little more intense. And from what I understand, that changes from time to time. Sometimes it's a little more intrusive than others. So you should be fine. So you cannot be on the beach here at Cape Henry at all, like, like period. It's reserved for military personnel. They do have a boardwalk that we can walk on and I'm even scared to do that, man, because they mean business, I'm telling you. So when the English colonists arrived here and landed here, Reverend Robert Hunt stopped everybody and said, hey, let's give thanks. And they prayed and gave thanks to the good Lord for a safe voyage across the Atlantic. And hey, after that, they started building cities and stuff, man. It was just happening. America. I mean, not right away. I mean, it, it, it took some time and all to become America, but you know, you know, it's just kind of a starting point. So yeah, a shuttle takes you to the lighthouses, the area around the lighthouses, the area around uh, the uh, first landing marker. You know, a shuttle takes you here. You have to walk around when you get here, but you have to be careful. They give you a pass, they give you a map, and you're not supposed to lose the map because you have to turn the map back in to get your driver's license. You have to leave your driver's license with the security force when you get here. So you gotta be expecting all that when you come. But again, I, I hear that that kind of flexes in seasons. Like sometimes maybe it's not like that. I don't know, but here's what I would definitely do. Check the website. I'll put a link down in the doobly-doo below. And you can expect the military personnel here to be military. And I get that. I get their job. I was in the military. So we respect them and we really enjoy just knowing that they were trying to keep us safe and trying to keep the base safe here. I don't know a lot about this facility, but it seems really cool. <laughs> But he's no Jack Sparrow. And he probably doesn't have the legal issues that Jack Sparrow has these days. You know what I'm saying? Am I right? I want to thank you so much for watching this video. And be sure to click the like and subscribe button. My name is Bill Marion, and this is A Nose for Life. If you have time, check out some of these other videos.